Righty, today we're fishing the Junior Nationals, only three or four days till closing. Um, but we've launched from the mount early this morning. Got three or four liveys, they were pretty hard to get, but we've shot down along Papamo Beach just for a bit of a light line session. Fishing one and two for a snapper car on Chirelli. Tyler's hooked up to a Chirelli, he's been fighting it for about 15 minutes now. Um, should be, hopefully should be a decent fish. Um, yeah, it's been lots of sign down here and hopefully we can get on to what we need. A couple of good kawai and snapper on one kilo should give us a couple of points and put us in the running. So yeah, fingers crossed. Alright, hooked up on one kilo. Just uh, been pretty constant action this morning. A lot of smaller snapper and Cameron and Tyler are both for the Trevelli. Uh, so I'm just trying for that last Chirelli so we can move on to something else. Just got a, maybe a slight upgrade on a snapper here. It's certainly not a monster, but... Yeah. Won't be too bad. Nice little result, nice little panny, good one for the bin, perfect eating size. So we will icky him and put him on some salt ice. Righty, I'll uh, run you through my setup using for one kilo here. Starting from the reel, I've got a Okuma Citrix, spooled with Moi Moi one kilo. And then moving to the rod, I've got an Abu Garcia Veritas, rated 0.8 to 1.5 and that's nice and soft and just allows you to put a good bend in the rod with, um, with this one kilo line which is really important for keeping pressure on the whole time. Down the line I've got a spider's hitch that doubles the line so when I tie into my swivel it just improves the knot strength massively. I've then got a small piece of lead just to battle the current to get it down to where the fish are. Then from that I've got about a meter and a half of 20 pound trace onto my recurve hook just with a little piece of bait I'm going for a trevally and they have nice small mouths so a little piece of bait like that is all that's needed and then yeah dropping that down to the bottom and it's not taking too long all right hooked up oh, on it's taken a while but i think this might might be a trevally uh, all the others have caught trevally tyler's caught three by now so I was starting to get a little bit uh, anxious that this might not happen, but I think I might have put one, either that or a car wire, but it doesn't feel like the biggest fish in the world, but it doesn't really matter. I just need to get one, get some points on the board. I can always upsize it later. Changed my rig to a lead rig style um, setup with just a single circle hook. Tyler's been getting them on speakies in the same rig, so I figured that if it worked for him, it might work for me, and I would see him too. Hopefully, we stay tight and, uh, and get it in. Move the boat a little bit. You really have to take your time on the one kilo. Just if the fish wants to take line, there's not much you can do about it. Uh, Why to just break the line, but. Take a while, but that's all right. You can see the slow tail beats in the rod, which are normally from a Chirelli Kawai or Kingfish. I'm hoping it's not a Kawai or Kingfish and it's a Chirelli. About, I oh don't know, probably 15, 20 minutes on. Finally just saw a first little glimpse of colour. Haven't, uh, haven't quite seen enough to make out what it is, but it's been Chirelli the whole fight, so it'd be surprised if it wasn't. It's just doing its big arcing circles at the minute. Big tail, big slow tail beats on the rod. Probably about, probably closer to about 30 minutes now. And 
still see colour. Identified it, know that it's a Chirelli. She's just circling and it's picked its depth so at about five metres and it's sticking to it. It's reasonably hard to lift it. Quite a uh, wide bodied fish, so they just sit on their side and it's quite hard to lift them up. We'll get there. Close now, still just doing its big circles. I'm slowly lifting it up. I'll be so careful on the one kilo line, break so easily. Just taking a few more meters. Comfortable sitting at well, a couple of meters behind the boat and it's just dogging in and staying down there. Give it a bit more. Give it a lift in a minute. See, it's got its head down. Oh, you're kidding. Oh. Second time round. Fortunately, we uh, pulled the hook right at the boat on the first one. Back down about 10 minutes later, picked up again, and this one just stripped off loads of line again straight to the beach. So we've had to anchor on a buoy system so we could just drop it and chase the fish. So done that, and we've I don't know, traveled 200 meters from the boys and we've just got it into set color again. So hopefully, we can get it up without losing it this time. See it down there, it is indeed again a Trevally. Probably about the similar size of the last one. But once again, I just need to keep it on the board. Doing its big circles. I'm uh, just getting it in sight and then it's boosted back down a couple of meters, which is probably a good thing. Just use a bit more energy. Hopefully it's not doing its circles for so long. I might go get it up. Just see colour again there. Alright, getting up a little bit more. Almost got the swivel up. Get there to jump in with the with the net. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not even big, but it's points on the board, so that's all right. <laughs> it's big enough. That's the uh, end result. Little trailer on one kilo, so that should probably only about, I don't know, 1.2, 1.3 kilos, but still 120, 130 points, so good points on the board. I'll uh, run you through that ledger rig I was just talking about. So I had my one kilo main line that was doubled onto a swivel, then about 40 centimetres of 20 pounds. I've then made a loop in the trace, which I've connected down to my circle hook, and then probably a further 25, 30 mil, just onto a little three quarter ounce sinker. I was fishing that hard on the bottom, and I was only Trevally taking it, the snapper weren't interested, which was actually ideal. It was a great way to target a Trevally. Yeah, that um, worked for me. That's an end to what was a reasonably successful day. We uh, started off this morning with a good snapper session. Lots of small, uh, great medium sized paddy um, models, but Cam did manage one better one at about three and a half or so. Uh, we all got a Trevally as well, so that was a, another box ticked off, and I managed to get a middle sized car oil on one, so. There will be some good points for us nonetheless. Um, sun's just set. We're uh, towing a couple Mackies along for a Kingy, so unless one of them goes off, we'll uh, leave it there. And we'll see you next time.